Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Coding Bites. I am Tinza, an educator at Coding Lab. I'm sure we have all heard of YouTube, especially since you are here watching this video. We watch many things on YouTube, whether it be animal videos, or funny clips, or clips from our favorite shows, etc. Whatever it is, have you ever wanted to save a video so that you can watch it to your heart's content? I believe some of us may have tried using those free online converter sites to save our favorite YouTube video. However, with all things found on the internet, we cannot be sure that these sites are 100% trustworthy. In that case, what should we do? Well, this is where we come in, as we'll be learning how to make our own YouTube video downloader. We'll be making use of modules, functions, methods, exception handling, and loops in our program. Now, let's take a quick look at what we'll be doing today. Here's the program we'll be creating. Firstly, there is an introductory statement to explain what this program is about. Then they will ask us for the link that we want to download. So let me enter a YouTube link here. The download will begin afterwards and it will tell you once the download has been completed. It may take a while depending on the size of the video. Once the download is complete, the program will ask us again for another link that we want to download. This time I will enter a non-YouTube link and you can see that there is no download. We can also choose to exit the program by typing the word exit. And that's it. This is our basic YouTube video downloader. Now let us begin coding. For today's program, we'll be making use of the Python 3.10.4 software. Please feel free to use any software that supports Python or install Python through the link in our description box below. To help us complete the YouTube video downloader, we'll be making use of modules. For today's program, we'll be making use of the PyTube module. Before we can use modules, we'll need to first install them. For Windows users, please open Command Prompt, and for Mac users, please open Terminal. Once you have opened Command Prompt or Terminal, we'll begin installing the PyTube module using the command pip install PyTube, then enter to begin installation. Mine says requirement already satisfied since I've already installed it, but on your device, installation should begin. If there is any error, please refer to the alternative commands in the description box below. Once it has been installed, we are now ready to use the module in our Python program. Now, let's get back to our Python file. To use the module, we will need to import it. And in this case, we are just using a section regarding YouTube. So I will type in the command from PyTube import YouTube. Please ensure that you're entering the exact same uppercase and lowercase letters as me, as Python is case sensitive. And with that, we are done with the prep work. Now, let's get started on the main part of the program. First, we will create a function called download by typing in def download link. This function will store all the steps needed to download our YouTube video. This link variable is an input argument in the function. And we will be using this variable to explain how the link will be used to download the YouTube video. Now, we will access the video via the link given. We will be making use of the YouTube method and putting the link input argument in the brackets. We will also store this data inside the video variable. When we are accessing the video, there are various streams that can be downloaded. And not all of them are video files. Since we want to download an MP4 video file, we will need to filter through the streams and download the video with the highest resolution. To do so, we will first use the streams attribute to access them. Then we will filter for the MP4 video streams using the filter method. Lastly, we will get the highest resolution video using the get highest resolution method. The video stream will then be saved inside the video variable. Once we have gotten the video stream that we want, it is time to download using the download method. I will also print a statement to indicate that the download has been completed. With that, we are done with this function. Let us run the program to test it. To test the function, I will put in the function name download and put in the YouTube link inside the quotation marks in the brackets. Then enter to run the function. The download will begin 
and it may take a while depending on the size of the video. Once it is done, it will print that the download is complete and the video can be found in the same folder as your Python program. Great, our function is working well. However, we are using this program like a perfect user would. What if we enter a non-YouTube link? Let me test the function again, but this time with a non-YouTube link. Now we can see that there is an error message and in the final program, it will stop the program halfway. To prevent this from happening, we will use exception handling. Instead of seeing the red error message, what we want to do is to print a statement saying that the download has failed. To do so, I will first add the try keyword here and select and indent these lines of code by pressing the tab key. By doing so, I am going to try out these lines of code and test for any errors. Next, I will add in accept. I will add the accept keyword here and print a message saying that the download has failed. You can customize this however you like. Once we are done, we are ready to test the function again. Let us try out the function using a none YouTube link. Instead of the error message, we now see the failure to download message being printed. If we try out the function without a link, for example, with the word hello, it will also give us the same result. So now the program will not come to a stop halfway in the case of invalid inputs. Since the function is done, let us move on to the main program. I have printed out an introductory statement to explain what this program does. Go ahead and customize this based on your liking. Then we will ask for the YouTube link that the user wants to convert. I will save this in the link variable and I will type in my question inside this bracket. Next, we'll move on to conditional so that we can customize what happens depending on the user's input. Since we have already checked for download failure in the function, we will just check whether the user has chosen to exit the program. Based on this, we will reply accordingly. For conditionals, we will be using if elif else statements. We will start off with the if condition and we will be checking if the user has chosen to type in the word exit. Since the user can type in either uppercase or lowercase, I have decided to convert all of them to uppercase letters using the upper method. And I'll be checking against the word exit in all uppercase letters. If that is the case, I will print a statement to indicate that the program is stopping. Now, if the condition is not met, meaning else, then the download will begin. So I will print a statement to indicate that the download is beginning. Then start the download using the download function. And with that, conditionals are complete. Let us run the program and test it. First, let me test out the else condition by entering a YouTube link. It prints the statement to indicate that the download has started, which means my else condition is working well. I have run the program again, and this time we will test the exit option by typing in the word exit. And we see the statement that the program is stopping being printed, which means the else condition is also working well. Great, all good so far. However, to improve my program even further, let us add in an additional feature to keep asking for links to download as long as the user has chosen not to exit. And to do so, we will make use of loops. In this program, we will be making use of our loops to keep asking the user for the link as long as the person has chosen not to exit. To stop the loop and the program eventually, we will make use of a Boolean flag. I will make a variable called ask and store the value true in it. As for the while condition, I will say while ask equals true. This means that if the ask variable becomes false, the loop will stop. 
Now I will add in these lines of code inside the while loop by selecting them and pressing the tab key to indent. Lastly, to ensure that the while loop stops once the person has typed an exit, I will update the variable to false inside the if condition. And with that, our program is complete. Let us test it out. First, I will test by trying out an invalid input, meaning not a YouTube link. And we see that the download has failed and the question about the link is repeated. This time, I will add in a valid YouTube link and the download will begin. Once it has been downloaded, it will show that the download is complete. It may take a while depending on the video that you have chosen. In this case, we also see that the link about the question is repeated, which means our while condition is working. Now let's try exiting. And great, the question stops repeating itself, which means our while loop is working well. And with that, we have completed our YouTube video downloader. With that, we've come to the end of this episode. I hope you've learned something with me today. Do give us a like if you enjoyed this video and click subscribe for more CodingMice content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.